What's going on everybody? I'm gonna jump straight into it. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time. So, I've been going through some knee issues right now. Um, and it's plagued me in CrossFit for some time now. About two years ago, I couldn't do the open because of knee issues. I had bursitis and it swelled up. And honestly, I've had knee issues for a long time because I actually had ACL surgery many, many years ago in the senior year of my football career for high school. And so, um, I really wanna delve into two different things. One, if you have knee issues, let's talk about ways you can work around it. And so we're gonna talk with Andrew on things we've been doing to still not lose the strength gains we have in our legs and not just atrophy too much and how we can work around the fact that I can't squat below parallel. So what are some good ways that you can still work on your legs and still get the intended result but maybe can't squat below parallel? So that's number one. The second thing I wanna go over is ways to treat it. We're actually gonna jump in the car with Andrew and we're headed to a physical therapist that I really love, Rennie Russell, who's a friend of mine, who's worked on me for many years. And so we're going there because he's a guy who knows me really well, he knows how to treat me, and I want you guys to listen to hear him talk about knee issues and ways to treat it. That way, if you have something similar, you're able to walk into a physical therapist and say, hey, I'm having this kind of issue. I'm gonna let you diagnose it because you're the physical therapist, but here's some ways I think that might help. That way you have some knowledge of what's out there. That way if you have these issues, you know it's not all's not lost. You have some way to treat it. That way you can get better. So let's get started. As promised, Andrew's gonna go over some movements, some things we've been doing in order to allow me to work around my knee issues or you if you're having the same knee issues. And so I give you, without further ado, Andrew Keekler, the man. The man. The myth, the legend. So when we talk uh, about Jake's knee, right, we are talking about bottom end range pain, pain. So like when Jake goes below parallel, that's where he's getting a lot of the pain in his, uh, in his tendon a little bit on the side there. So what we've been working on is staying above parallel. So how can I strengthen uh, certain areas without going below parallel? Number one, the belt squat machine has been a huge success, I think, for us, a huge help because he does not go below parallel, but I can also load up the hips and glutes a lot more for his squat. And I think that's the biggest area that I focused on for strengthening lower half is can I make his glutes still stronger? So we've used reverse hyper a lot. Uh, floor GHDs are just regular glute ham raises on our regular GHD at the gym. Uh, we've done a lot. Obviously, you guys have already been used to the hamstring curl stuff we've been doing with either the bands or the TRX. We've done a lot of iso holds, sandbag holds, sandbag walks. So it's all, all glute and hamstring emphasis on those kind of things. So that really helps. Now, as far as regular squatting goes, we've been uh, working on box squatting. So we back squatted to a box. I've actually just had him front squat to a box yesterday. Uh, and then we've been working on explosive stuff, so chain and band work as well. So that way, when he gets towards just, just above end range, he can then explode back up and we still have some good, uh, good work there. So we've been slowly lowering the box. I think we started with like a 20 inch box and we've gotten down to, as he's gotten less and less pain, I think we're down to like a 16 or 14 Yeah, 14, 14 or 16, yeah. Uh, with that, so he's feeling a lot more comfortable so that the, at least the strength is there. So if he gets to the games and there's a heavy clean, you know, at least he, if he does get under it and can catch it, he still feels strong enough to get out of the bottom. For Jake, a lot of it is if he doesn't catch his bounce on a lot of his uh, lifts as far as like one rep maxes or anything like that, he usually fails it. And that's, I think, part of the reason we had some of the knee issues that we've had. So, you know, after this is over, we're gonna work bottom end range strength when he gets healthy completely where there is no bounce and he has to work on that, but that's that's later on. For now, we're gonna continue on with the tempo work, so time under tension. We're gonna continue on with the box squatting and uh, the chain work. Uh, we're gonna continue on with all the posterior stuff, so the reverse hyper, the GHD. Those two are your best friends. The belt squat machine is amazing. We use that for not only squats, but also things like RDLs, which you guys have seen in the program now, uh, and all the variations of stuff for that. So those kind of things have been pretty much our staple for helping Jake maintain strength in his lower half without actually squatting below parallel. Cool. So, yeah. 
And that was fully unedited, ladies and gentlemen. Unedited. Is it? Is isn't he good on camera? Like Ad lib. Isn't he, is he great on camera? <laughs> All right, so uh, we're on our way to Rooney's, like I mentioned. So that's some of the things that Andrew's telling us. Some things that we've done to work around my knee issues without actually having to like squat all the time, right? So we're working posterior chain stuff, isometric holds. We're going to Rennie's, we're gonna get some treatment done, and we're gonna talk about ways to treat your knees if you're having the same issues. Cool. All right, and as promised, we are here in Liberty, Missouri at CrossFit 816 to see Rennie Russell, probably one of the best chiropractor, PT, witch doctor. That's probably the best definition, he's a witch doctor. Probably one of the best guys I know around to fix your body and rehab you. So let's go inside. Uh, Rennie's not a fan of my water bottle because it's from a different chiropractor joint clinic in Kansas City, so... You make this look a little better here. <laughs> oh, man. They'll understand. They'll, they'll get it. They'll get it. Yeah. They'll understand. Alright, we are here in Rennie Russell's PT office. This is Rennie. Rennie, talk, let's talk about, like... Obviously, I've been here before for knee issues that I've had in the past. So let's talk about what you're doing now, and then we can go into like other things that if folks have knee issues, what they've done to help it. But first of all, let's talk about the fact that right now you are lasering my knee, and I have no idea what it does. Yes, uh, it's a class four laser. So to keep it simple, the main thing it's doing is going to increase tissue healing. Uh, so like at a cellular level, it's going to it's going to uh, increase a lot of the production of uh, like say ATP that's going to be basically the fuel source that you, to build new tissue nitric oxide which is needed uh, again in the healing process um, increasing growth factor so yeah everything we're trying to do is trying to get this tendon to speed up the healing process so, uh, so we can get this get you ready for the uh, games in a few weeks this company that I use it's called Light Force um, but there are other companies out there. Okay. And there's different strengths. So with this company, they have, I believe, 5 watt, 10 watt, 15, and 25. So this is a 15, which is plenty powerful enough. 25 might treat an elephant or something. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is all of Rennie's certifications, which I think half of these are fake. And are literally like he made it up in like word art. Call me. Yeah, I printed that myself. Actually, yeah, I did that yeah. <laughs> I don't even have these. Me. It just means I'm good at everything I do. Well, there's going to be two two main things. So like, right from if there's a true tissue injury, we want to try to get stuff to heal up quick as possible mm. and help that remodel properly and stuff. And that, there's there's some different exercises and stuff involved in that. But lots of things are going to be the modalities like this laser. Graston, things like that to help stimulate uh, healing of that actual tissue. Um, but that's more short term to try to get relief. But the, the big issue is basically like the function of that, um, which primarily comes up to the hip. So the hip is what controls the knee. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has some imbalances in the hip, meaning that they're not firing the correct muscles to, to, to stabilize your lower chain, then you'll get a lot of uh, compensations, and sometimes that can produce a like a uh, repetitive injury, like a tendinopathy through there, um, which is probably the case with my knee. with you with the volume of squatting you're doing and the hill running and stuff. So, because in your case, the muscle that we're treating, the tendon we're treating, is the popliteus tendon. Um, the popliteus tendon. <laughs> <laughs> so which is probably getting over recruited for like a compensation during the, the, the high volume deep squats, heavy squats that you're doing along with the, the angled running that you were doing and it flared it up. So we're trying to get that, get that healed up. The best part is right now is the fact that Andrew, look at Andrew right now. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, what is this like GQ? This laser here. This is kind of my motto, sharks, sharks with freaking laser beams on it. So, so is, this the ten, is this the five watt? This is the 0 .05 watt. <laughs> this is so, the, this is take home. You can take this home. <laughs> yeah. so right now we're doing some grasting. So again, so it's it's surgical steel. It's got a beveled edge, but we're gonna put basically uh, a force. That we're trying to put the stimulus on that tendon. I'm trying to irritate that it's again to try to signal the brain to hey, pay attention to me. We need to we need to heal up. Who cares about growing hair on your legs and, and, and such? So. 
that's the main thing, but then it, it can also help re uh, uh, relax the muscle and things like that by, by trying to break up adhesions and things mm -hmm. like that. Okay, hold on, pause. How broken is Jacob Hepner working? <laughs> Go back. So this is his good side. Um, so this relaxing like this, his leg is coming pretty far out, so he's getting overactivity, this IT band. Again, another compensation of uh, a misfiring hip. This here should go down 90 degrees here, so he's getting overactivity of this uh, quad muscle, his rectus femoris. Um, his hip flexors on this side, it's not too bad. You might feel a stretch when I'm yeah. there. But this side, this is the reason why we did the screen in the first place. So again, his leg is almost straight, but that should be going down the, the 90 degrees. Um, but he's got some, some IT on this side too, and then his psoas, his hip flexors a little bit on, more on this side. So most definitely he's getting some overactivity of, of the, the quads on both sides. Okay? So that goes right back to glute work, getting the glute meat, all that external rotators firing, dropping it in the bottom. Yeah. But you've got to trick your brain to, to fire those. But that, all that controls this knee. What do you feel about like athletes scraping themselves, like grasping like what you're doing now? Is it, can athletes do that? Uh, I know that's the big thing now. Yeah, uh, I, have, sure. I have no opinion whatsoever, I'm just asking you. Yeah, yeah, uh, I guess I've really never thought that much about it. Um, I know I even have patients that have gone on and on Amazon and bought their own little tools and stuff and, and do it. Um, I guess I really don't, I mean, have that much of a problem with it. Um, one thing though you can do is you can over, yes. over treat sure. in an area. Because basically I'm creating micro trauma through sure. all this, right? So in this case, I'm trying to work this whole quad muscle here to try to break up any adhesions and stuff that may be in there and then I'm gonna have you do this stretch afterwards. Um, for this, um, but if we did this as frequent as I'm doing that laser, it's just going to be beat to hell. Yeah, you know. So you got to let it kind of recover, like even working out. Sure. You know? Well, I hope you got some insight onto what my training looks like and some ways you might be able to benefit from that if you're suffering some knee issues like me. And on top of that, I hope if you have to go to a PT or a chiropractor, you also got some benefit from that discussion. And what are some ways that are available to you to treat your knee issues if you have them come up? I appreciate you guys hanging out, and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya!